going on guys? This is Dave from Otaku and today we're going to talk about sentence mining with Voracious. Cool. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and open up Voracious. Voracious is a video player which is great for learning languages, uh, especially Japanese. Uh, basically what you do is you set it up with a database or multiple databases and you can watch shows that you've downloaded as long as you've downloaded the subtitle files with them and it allows you to um, see the subtitle files if you wish and you can click on them as they would go and it would just automatically display um, the definition of every word in that subtitle. It's also really great for making Anki cards really, really fast. So it's one of my favorite ways if I'm going to be manually sentence mining to sentence mine. So the first thing you're going to need to do, though, is obviously download Voracious. Um, but after that, go to the settings and you're going to need to set up a collection, right? So you're going to go here, add collection. And basically, all you're going to do is choose a folder stating where you store all your video files and subtitle files, right? So I just have it here in a Japanese folder and I have two different folders. I have an anime one and a drama one. Basically, all you do is you click on that, you hit choose and then open it up. I've already done that, so I'm not going to do it again because I might mess up the system. <laughs> um, but once you've done that, you can see that it uh, makes um, however many databases you want and you can do this for as many folders as you want to um, I have all my anime in separate folders um, under that one main uh, file right so the other important settings that you have is you can add different dictionaries to this so it's gonna come standard with the JM English dictionary um, this is a great uh, English to Japanese, Japanese to English dictionary. Um, but if you wanted to own your, add your own Japanese to Japanese dictionary, you absolutely could. Um, I currently don't have any uh, EP Wing dictionaries downloaded on my computer. Otherwise, I'd import one and show you. But um, they're pretty easy to find. If you just go to the uh, EP Wing website, you can download different dictionaries there. Um, but uh, the most important setting you're going to see is this Anki export setting. Now, if you have Yomichan and you mine with Yomichan already, then you're going to already have the proper things set up to do this. Um, but the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to download Anki Connect, which is an add-on that you uh, install directly into Anki. So if you go into your add-ons page under tools, you can see whether or not you already have it added in. If you don't, then just go and click on this link and go to the add-ons page and add it in. Um, this is so that different programs can connect directly to your Anki. Once you have that added in, all you can do, all you need to do rather, is set up what deck you want it to go to, and what card type you want to use, and how you want your cards to fill. So I just have it in my sentence bank. Don't judge me for how many card types I've in here. <laughs> um, I just have it in my SubSRS Japanese card file. That's basically the card file that I use to do pretty much everything. And then um, you fill out the card as the way you want. Most important thing I can say is fill out this for your cards, right? Don't pay attention to my settings that I have here. Look at your own cards, look at how you want it set up and do that, right? It's the same thing with Morph Man. It's the same thing with other add-ons. Make sure you're doing it to how your decks are built. Um, so I just have a sequence marker to the selected text. I have on audio. Um, I have a snapshot. I'm not filling the video. I don't even know why I have this. I never fill this, but it came with subsessor as um, expression is the text from the uh, subtitle file. And then same thing, but with added Furigana. Cool. And then you're just going to hit save. And yeah, that's all you need to do. So once you have it all in there, save it, close it, open it back up just to make sure all the settings are in there. And then you'll see it's loading your dictionary. After it loads the dictionary, you should have access to your files instantly. From there, all you have to do is click on a show that you wanna watch. Um, as you can see, some of these have different numbers in them right next to them, right? Uh, the number represents how many episodes are available. So if I go to sing yesterday for me um, and I click on, you can see all the episodes. Now, if you look at your library, right? and uh, you open up a file and it is gray instead of, yeah, like this, and gray instead of black. That means that your subtitle files aren't directly in that folder. So if I go look at Boku Taki Gai Naimachi, where is that? you'll see that I have all my subtitles in a separate folder. That is the reason why it's gray. So if I took all of these and put them in the normal folder and then I go back here you'll see that it's still gray so you're gonna actually have to close out open it back up boom voracious and now you see that they're all black and that they will work properly 
So once you have a show that you want to watch, um, go ahead and just pick that show and start the show, right? Um, so you'll see that you have a couple of different modes here. Manual mode lets you drive around uh, the show however you want to, right? As you can see, I can just click through and uh, it's on listening. Um, and it'll just go from subtitle file to subtitle file. I'm doing this right now with just the arrow keys. And it'll let me drive to any subtitle file I want to, right? Also, if I just hit play, it's just going to keep playing through each, uh, through the show just as it normally would. However, if I were on listening mode, as you guys just saw, it's going to uh, blank out the... It's going to blank out the subtitle so I can't see it. So it forces me to listen to the line and then I can read it afterwards. And then same with reading practice. Basically what it'll do is I have to read the subtitle line and then I'll hear the audio afterwards, right? So it can be used for different types of immersion. It's a pretty cool little tool. However, our main thing that we're gonna be using it for is just this manual mode, or you could do it in reading mode, I guess, if you wanted to. And then if I click toggle help here, I can see the different hotkeys that we have. So the main one we're gonna be looking at is this export to Anki. All you have to do is hit E, right? Also full screen is just hit F. And then if you wanna to toggle on or toggle off Furigana, um, all you have to do is hit R. Cool. And then the rest of the hotkeys that exist there, right? So this is pretty cool because in Voracious, you can just go around and if there's a word that you want to see um, the definition to, you know, you can just hover right over it and it'll give it to you automatically. It's really, really cool. Cool. So if you wanted to mine a card, all you would have to do is you could either just like highlight the word, right? And then hit E. What it'll do is if you hide that, that word first, it'll uh, make sure that it ends up in the sentence marker, right? So if I cancel, if I unhighlight the word, hit, um, and then I hit E, you'll notice that it didn't show up in the sentence marker. And that that's the case, if that's what happens, um, not a big deal. You can just copy and paste right into your sentence marker. However, something does need to be in this first field, right? Because you need to make sure that it lines up for your cards. So. Um, once I put that in there, you can see it's automatically grabbed the audio, the image, and the expression, um, and you can immediately send it straight over to Anki by just hitting export. Great thing about Voracious is you could mine all the cards you wanted from that episode, or once you hit like five or 10 or however many from that episode that you wanted to mine, um, you can do it just while you're watching the show, and then at the end, go over to your Anki and then find all the cards that you wanted to actually mine. So now if I go to Anki and I go to my browser, I can go to... Japanese type in voracious and it's going to pull up all the cards and you'll see that it's automatically tagged with that really cool way to do it right and then you can just go by date see what cards were actually done on today's date so it's the 19th you can go click on that and I can see the card that it did go ahead and check it real quick preview the audio and everything so uh, in this case, maybe the word I wanted to mine was Angie, which is act, right? So I can just go over here and you'll notice that it doesn't have um, the dictionary from uh, the dictionary definition from Voracious, which is why I was saying it's not really a big deal that um, it was uh, an English dictionary. Like it's quick, it's easy for looking up. However, if you were going to mine it and you wanted to use a JJ dictionary, you can just use the MIA Japanese dictionary, right? So if I wanted to mine that word with the MIA Japanese dictionary, just highlight it, right? Control S, if that's your hotkey that you have set up for it. Um, and then I can go right over here and then I can grab my Japanese definitions if you have Japanese uh, dictionary set in there. Or if you don't, then you can just use the JM dict, right? Same thing, acting, performance. Cool. And then from there, uh, you could just uh, study the card right away, or you could get all the cards that you wanted for the day um, and then study them afterwards. And yeah, be pretty easy. So uh, I personally think that using Voracious is a great way to um, be able to mine a bunch of cards manually. Um, Yes, I use Morph Man pretty often, but I think that if you have the time to man manually mine cards, um, they do stick a little bit better, um, and I think it's a little bit more uh, efficient in sometimes in Morph Man. Morph Man's a great time saver, but Voracious is also a great way to mine a bunch of cards and um, be able to do it quickly. So uh, I think it's a great, great tool that uh, it could help out a lot of people who are learning Japanese. All right, guys, uh, that's going to be it for today. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and put them in the comments below. Um, if you like the video, like the video. And if you want to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, yeah, awesome. Later.